Hey, world builders and writers. This is my second little Saturday chat. Uh, I will tell you the prompt for Build Together today. This is day 145, and the prompt is, what is a common pet showed off as a form of vanity in your world? And that's from Patrick the Great in the Discord. But I wanted to talk more about today how I sort of structure my campaign notes in Obsidian. Um, I'll show off a little bit of what that looks like on mobile, at least. I'd originally been writing big chunks of text under headings. Um, and maybe adjusting the heading size to add a little bit of layering. Um, but at one point, I was going to publish a one-shot that I wrote that I really enjoyed, a Halloween one-shot called Until Dawn. Um, and I wanted to publish it on my wiki. And I realized that if I was going to do that, it was going to need to be a bit more readable and parsable for like other DMs than just me. And I needed to find a good format for that. Uh, and I settled on a system of callouts within Obsidian. If you don't know what a callout is, it's basically a fancier quote block. So in Obsidian, if you use a greater than angle bracket, you can make a nice little quote block, which looks a little di differently. But if you add a square bracket and an exclamation point and then their piece of text, you can add a callout. Um, and the default one is a note callout, but there is also a bunch of others like warning and example and info and quote. Um, and these are really cool ways of collapsing and structuring different things. So if you can kind of color code uh, different kinds of information, similar to how a one shot for a adventure guide works where they kind of give you the like oh this kind of text that's in this box you read out loud to the players that's kind of that kind of thing or or this is a character or this is a description of this kind of thing and so i use different callouts to immediately tell myself what kind of information that is if it is a note it is to myself to the DM some information that I should keep in mind. If it is info, it's something I should at some point inform the characters of if it becomes pertinent. If it's a quote, it's probably something that I should directly read or that is something that is said by an NPC to the players, anything along those lines. I use example generally for mechanics or for stat blocks uh, when I remember to use that one. Um, you can see an example of this here uh, in my vault, but you can also see an example if you go to the wiki and you look under the dm resources uh, there is a one shot there that uses all of that stuff um, i found it really useful really helpful at a glance i can tell kind of color based uh, what is going to give me what kind of information i'm curious other obsidian users other note takers uh, what kind of formats uh, and formatting do you guys use to keep track of your campaign writing and to, to take notes and things like that my notes are pretty bad i will admit Thanks to everyone for building together and for watching.